não existe nenhuma evidência de que alimentos transgênicos possam fazer mal à saúde humana. Isso também é outra mitologia que o pessoal, às vezes, dá, o pessoal mais hippie, assim, fala, ai, nossa, a gente tá em perigo porque estamos comendo transgênicos. Isso daí é mais ignorância do que baseado em fatos mesmo. Genetically engineered foods are literally lethal. It was here in San Francisco that the boy had the good fortune to meet the executive director of the Center for Food Safety, Andrew Kimbrell. The Center for Food Safety is a national nonprofit organization working to protect consumers and the environment from the hazards of harmful food production technologies and promote organic and other forms of sustainable agriculture. One of the great misconceptions we have about genetically engineered food is that the genie is out of the bottle, you know, and you, you hear all the time, 60 or 70 percent of foods got genetically modified ingredients in it. Not true. 60 percent of processed food has genetically engineered ingredients. Actually, almost none of your whole foods are genetically engineered. None of your fruits, none of your vegetables, you know, your meat, your fish, most of your dairy products are completely free of genetically engineered ingredients. As a matter of fact, there's only really four genetically engineered crops. That's corn, cotton, canola, and soy. So we have stopped genetically engineered wheat. We've stopped genetically engineered rice. We've stopped genetically engineered fish. We've stopped these biopharmaceuticals. We're, we're seeing that really genetically engineered food is one of the great failures of modern agriculture. It's being rejected around the world. And not only we, can we stop it, we are stopping it. There are five companies that are behind GMOs. You have Monsanto, DuPont, Bayer, Syngenta, and Dow. Those are the big five companies behind genetically engineered foods, and they all share one thing in common. They're not agricultural companies, they're chemical companies. And there's a reason for that. Genetic engineering today means only one thing, not all the stuff that's been advertised, all the myths about more food, more nutritious food, tastier food, all nonsense science fiction. These chemical companies have engineered the, these crops so they can withstand more and more of their herbicides and pesticides. And they selling hundreds of millions of more tons of their chemicals. That's what they're about. I'm not surprised that Monsanto did not want to interview for this film. Monsanto has developed a technology which has one purpose and one purpose alone, which is they can sell more of their herbicides. Garrett was shocked to find in doing his homework that many of the people that work for these chemical companies later worked in government positions that were supposed to regulate these corporate giants. Sometimes they went back to work for the corporations again. Employees commonly move through what has been coined the revolving door between corporations and the public agencies that regulate them. Monsanto should not have to vouchsafe the safety of biotech food. Our interest is in selling as much as possible, assuring its safety is the FDA's job. But when this quote is said alongside a statement from the Food and Drug Administration, it simply doesn't give the casual food eater much protection. The boy found this all very disturbing, with zero credibility left over for either group. Ultimately, it is the food producer who is responsible for assuring safety. Uh, so really, it's up to the good nature of the biotech companies to provide studies to the government. But mostly, this, this is an unregulated industry, and this is our food. One of the great questions people ask is, is are genetic engineered foods lethal? Are, are they toxic? And the FDA gave us an answer. The Food and Drug Administration in the United States gave it an answer. In the, in the 80s and 90s, they looked at these foods and said, yes, the process of genetic engineering can take a non-toxic food and make it toxic. It can create new allergens. It can lower nutrition in food. It can lower our immune response. And in certain cases, we even see these foods have the potential to create cancer, certain uh, of this technology. So the answer is in on whether GM foods are lethal or toxic. Yes, the very process can make a safe food and turn it into a toxic food and potentially a lethal food. The objective of Monsanto is clear. Monsanto has become the largest seed company in the world. Monsanto is in the process of buying up all the seeds of the world, which they then want to patent and control so that farmers will not be able to save those seeds. And they want to genetically engineer those seeds, and they want to put something called terminator technology in those seeds. And this has those seeds create suicide after one growing season so that farmers cannot save those seeds. So what Monsanto's really after is controlling all the seeds of the earth and making sure that the farmers of the earth cannot save those seeds. This becomes extremely important when you realize that 80% of all the farmers of the world depend on seed saving for their survival. So if Monsanto is able either through patenting 
or through this Terminator technology to destroy their ability to save seeds, the result will be mass starvation. Garrett was surprised to learn that controlling pests and all the other reasons chemicals are applied, including artificial fertilizers, is completely unnecessary. There are dozens of institutions in the U.S. alone that strive to declare the good news of sustainable agriculture. Dr. Paul Hepperly demonstrated to us through many seed and field trial studies the amazing ways in which plants thrive and outperform chemically dependent fields. In many instances, the crop yields far exceed chemically treated farms. The studies are extensive, repetitive, and uplifting to anyone who cherishes good health. Dr. Gerson stated that the soil is our external metabolism. It must be free of sprays and poisons, or the body cannot heal. With chemical agriculture, the water that comes from your tap may contain much more than fluoride and chlorine. And there's another food treatment process that could still threaten your health. What we have found with the irradiation of food is it does not just kill the bacteria, which is what it's used for, but actually molecularly changes the food. It creates something in food called free radicals. These are novel molecular elements in the food that, we, that have never been there before. Uh, for example, in normal foods, we've seen the creation of benzene, which is a known carcinogen. And we've seen a number of other toxic elements in these food created because of the irradiation that fundamentally alter that food. So we have an ethical responsibility to eat well. The beautiful truth is that people around the world are saying no to GM foods, they're saying no to irradiation, they're saying no to food additives, and they're saying yes to organic food and beyond organic food. They're saying yes to food that is local, that is appropriate scale, that is humane, that's biodiverse, and that's socially just. Garrett thought that one way to stop some of this is by the way we vote, if indeed you can trust the voting machines to work right.